We can vlog if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't vlog, and if they don't vlog, they're no friends of mine. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I disappeared off the face of the earth. Except not really, but sort of. <laughs> For about ten days there. Missed last week, so here I am. Um, so, in case you guys didn't hear, uh, I wasn't talking about it loudly enough, I went to the UK last week. It was amazing. I saw so much old architecture, so much culture, so much... stuff that I just... I'm going back. I don't care if, just, if I have to swim there. Um, so that's that, and I will probably put on my own channel more about it so that I can actually talk about it, but seeing as it's after 10 and I'm running on empty and I worked earlier than usual today and worked later as well, I'm... What am I talking about? I worked till 6.15. But uh, I'm pretty tired. Um, so I decided today I'm going to give you a tour of my bedroom. Take you about 30 seconds. Keep in mind, it's messy and I have a cat crawling in here somewhere. So I, I literally just threw everything sort of on the bed and said, good enough for now. At one point, I will tidy it up, but I'm really not too worried about showing you guys this place because, and Rosie, I know I already told you part of this, but I didn't tell you this part. We will be moving in, not July like I thought I was going to be moving in. We're going to be moving June 15th, so we get two extra weeks. We get, we get there two weeks sooner, which is fantastic because... The last year we've been living with my mother and her ex. Like, my mother and I and the kids, we've been living with her ex. Like, we have for the last 12 years. But now it's their ex when they're done. So, it's it's been really quite difficult. Um, we'll be getting out of it soon, and I'm, I'm just very excited about that. I'm so excited, can't you tell? But in the meanwhile, here is the bedroom. So there we have the door, my photos from the Encounters uh, trip to the Parliamentary Library, my own portrait of Victoria, mine the shaky hands, I have the clothing, my cookbooks, some artsy fartsy stuff, my Alex Day original, stuff from karate certificates, two of the three. Um, dumping ground for a bunch of crud piece of art that I did years ago certificates a calendar that's from last month my mess of a bed hall of fame I suppose um, the mirror oh and now while I'm here Rosie this is the, the full outfit uh, let's see if I can show you. I was talking to Rosie earlier and she was impressed with the skirt that I wore today. So, And here's the boots. I love them. Um, more dumping ground. A closet. I haven't done laundry yet, so there's a heap of laundry. Um, yeah, And the room really actually is this small. More dumping grounds and shoes. My suitcase that I have yet to unpack. My youngest cat. Hey, bud. Meow. No. There's my karate bag. The trunk my grandfather made for me. He actually made that box as well. The bag I take to school every day. What's in it today? My lunch bag and a bunch of papers I need signed. Um, clothes. These are the one pair of pants out of this giant bag that I was given to try on. These are the one pair that sort of almost fit. Um, here's my beloved computer. His name is Alex and I adore him. Spare camera battery. Um, two self portraits that, well, I'll let you decide what you think. My encounter stuff. Thing, more encounter stuff. 
the picture I bought at the art gallery. Um, Haskins Holding Award. A photo of my cousin and I. An old staff calendar. My book club list for this year. Ooh. Um, attempted mission statement. A new designer I really like. Friends of mine that are graduating. Uh, this is the joy I was telling you about, Rosie. Um, my encounter stuff is prominently displayed. Mm, favorite song lyrics. No, can you tell what song it is? Uh, a song that my old boss picked out, of, ripped out of a book for me because I do hate birthdays. Like that amount is ever gonna buy me something in a store. Solidarity Forever. Self-portrait my youngest did after he saw my self-portraits. Um, fan for my grade six Edmonton trip. Bunch of jewelry. My pearls. Mirror. cat. So, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much else. So, I will sign off for the moment, and in about 30 seconds, I'll find a way to situate this so I can do the first actual demonstration um, of for karate. I did actually have a list of what I was going to mention today, but seeing as I'm running on about this much energy, and I'm probably holding the camera way too much close to my face. Um, I'm not even looking. So, see you in a bit. Toodaloo. Today, we are going to do, if I can get my skirt uncaught, I'm going to do a basic punch, and yes, I'm kneeling. Um, so we know our fist. Two fists. One. Two. Um, I'm really not all here. One of them will go to the ribs. And for those of you wearing a bra, make sure you can feel the underwearing. Smack it against there. The other one just goes straight out and keep it level with the ground. And then when we punch, I'll do it one arm at a time. This arm goes out and twists at the last minute. And this arm goes in and twists at the last minute. So at the same time, and you are driving and you twist. The twist gives you extra power so you can hit and for now you should be aiming at the stomach of the person. That's what this one is, but there are punches where you can aim for the, the nose, the jaw. If they're turned you can hit the jaw and dislocate it. You could go for the temple, but you'd have to hit it just right. Um, other than that, when you hit, you hit with the first two knuckles. And I'm hardly a good demonstration. So, there you go. This has been an encounter with Alberta.